More than 250 super tankers bigger than the Empire State Building are planned to go out of this port here, go down the Doug Douglas Channel, and then make three 90 degree hairpin turns before going out into the ocean. What kind of insanity is that? Well, it serves some pretty narrow interests, right? If you're into removing raw bitumen out of Canada, then this, this is the project for you. If uh, you're anybody else, it doesn't serve you at all. Yeah. I mean, it's we got a $140 million wild salmon economy up here that would be totally threatened, if not ruined, by this thing. When they do the math on this thing, it just makes no sense. And for 37 jobs, you're going to risk hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of jobs, plus your entire culture and environment. And uh, what has Enbridge told you to convince you otherwise? Like you've spoken with representatives, obviously. Oh, they flash yeah. a lot of numbers, right? They'll say it's a so many billion dollar project, and they'll say it's you know it's safe. They'll they'll try to get at our basic interests around the environment and the economy. The fact is, their credibility is virtually zero because mm -hmm. they just dumped three million liters into the Michigan rivers, and so. Enbridge can, at this point, almost say anything they want. Their, their track record, what happens in reality, uh, is not credible. Pipeline to accommodate additional lines. 500 grams or one, just over one pound of, of carbon. To say that it's reasonable to approve this project uh, is madness. It, uh, the NAB, though, is set up to approve this project. Yeah flat out. Uh, yeah. They're nice folks that are going to try to say yes in any way they can. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the reality. So why would we pretend otherwise? It's a it's a farce. It's a farce to suggest that this is somehow a legitimate process. It's not. Some folks are going to want to say that you know, people in northern Alberta might benefit, but even at that level it doesn't because the expansion of the tar sands, we've heard from the local officials in northern Alberta saying slow the expansion down. No new projects. So they're not asking for this. The workers who work in any of the refining plants will be out of a job because this stuff leaves the country. So even the ones with the most direct to gain don't. So then you're left with some investors, right? Some international, Wall Street, Bay Street type investors who want to see a share price go up by a couple of points. That's it. At China, might benefit, but you know, at, at some point we got to make a choice. 2010 is the hottest year on record so far, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Climate change is on. These projects are dinosaurs and they should do what dinosaurs do, which is die.